Imagine a world without forests that provide us with clean air to breathe. The diverse ecosystems that sustain life as we know it. And the precious species that make our planet beautiful. This is the reality we face if we don't take action to protect our biodiversity. At the heart of UNDP's work lies the commitment to sustainable development, a vision of a world where people can live in harmony with nature, where prosperity is shared and where future generations can thrive. Biodiversity conservation is integral to achieving this vision. It provides us with essential ecosystem services like clean water, fertile soil and climate regulation. It also contributes to our physical and mental well-being, enriching our lives in ways we may not even realize. This is not just about saving trees or protecting rare animals, rather safeguarding our future, ensuring a sustainable and resilient world for generations to come. It is a shared responsibility to achieve long-term conservation goals and collectively enhance both the environmental and financial landscape of Rwanda. Welcome to Rwanda, blessed with diverse and beautiful ecosystems. The country has put in place initiatives and policies that aim to preserve and secure its rich biodiversity. The country has successfully carried out various conservation projects. And here I can give examples of uh, Volcano National Park, Nyungwe National Park, and Jishwatimukula National Park, which is the newest that we have on the list. We are also committed to maintaining them, keeping them in the highest state uh, of maintenance ever. We are also actively restoring degraded ecosystems to protect biodiversity habitats with plans to establish a biodiversity facility through the Rwanda Green Fund. That is where initiatives like Biofen, the Biodiversity Financial Initiative, come into play. Biofen led by the UNDP in partnership with the Ministry of Environment and the Rwanda Environment Management Authority focuses on addressing the financial barriers to biodiversity conservation. Since its inception in 2018, Biofin Rwanda created key output documents, including the Policy and Institutional Review, the Biodiversity Expenditure Review, the Financial Needs Assessment, and the National Biodiversity Finance Plan. The National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan and BSAP of Rwanda outlines a comprehensive strategy for conserving and managing the country's biodiversity. It is estimated that the cost of implementing the key activities within the NBSAP ranges between 82.6 billion to 91.2 billion Rwandan francs for the period of 2019 to 2024 aligning with the Sustainable Development Goals in time frame. To bridge this financing gap, the plan proposes eight prioritized finance solutions. Currently, Biofin Rwanda is actively implementing two of the financial solutions, integrating biodiversity conservation into environmental impact assessment process and channeling environmental fees and fine into a dedicated biodiversity financial facility. Progress has been made since 2018, including training of 149 EIA experts and 63 biodiversity actors, updating ministerial orders and incorporating biodiversity into EIA process. This not only safeguards our ecosystems, but also prevents future costs. We're trained by REMA to mainstream this biodiversity into the specific guidelines. So we have general guidelines, but we also have specific guidelines. So they include hydropower construction, road construction, house construction, waste management, uh, wetland management, and also tannery uh, industrial products. You have uh, mining products, you have uh, uh, slaughterhouses. So we have 12 specific guidelines where that were actually considered for for the biodiversity element. So we were able to be trained on how to mainstream biodiversity in those specific guidelines. So these are actually helping us when we do the assessment and make sure the biodiversity is key. 
Additionally, Biofin is conducting two studies, one to identify and assess the impact of harmful subsidies to biodiversity, and another to evaluate the financial sector's risk exposure to the loss of nature and related financial gaps. By adopting the Task Force on Nature-Related Financial Disclosures Framework, organizations can integrate nature into decision-making processes. This framework enables the identification, assessment, management, and reporting of nature-related issues, transforming environmental challenges into actionable opportunities. The Biofin Initiative has been instrumental in providing us with the tools and framework to identify our needs and develop a strategic approach to achieving our biodiversity goals. Rwanda is firmly committed to building a future where environmental protection and economic growth go hand in hand. Our green growth agenda prioritizes sustainable development ensuring a thriving economy that doesn't come at the cost of our precious natural resources. To sustain our investments, the government of Rwanda has introduced targeted environmental fees and fines to discourage destructive activities against our biodiversity and our environment. We recognize the role of biodiversity in fostering employment opportunities and building resilience of our communities against the impacts of climate change. The Rwanda Green Fund remains committed to availing finance for biodiversity conservation. Biofin. Witness the resilience of Rwanda's biodiversity and the dedication of those working to ensure its future. Together, we can forge a path toward a more sustainable and harmonious coexistence with nature.